in this video I'll be looking at how to display information in your web page because I'm sure that some of you must have been wondering why I do not type information directly why I do not type text directly onto the web form and even though you can do this even though you can type text directly to the web form uh, it is not advisable there are two controls that enables you to um, add text directly especially when you want to modify the text uh, dynamically for example the label you, you must have said I've been using label and the reason why label is so cool is because you can modify the uh, text directly I mean dynamically for example if I now that I've added a label one I can say label one dot label one dot text I can set it to time dot now Okay, date time dot now dot to string. You have four weeks to display the time. You can either use this method or you can use the uh, uh let me just use this particular one. So if we run our application now we can see that uh, the time will be displayed sorry let me disable the tracing information that I've enabled um, I don't want to see that the tracing information appended to the end of our uh, web page so you can see that right now the time is the 16th of December at 2.11.54 right so that's 2.11.54 if I run the application again you can see that the text is being changed now it's not 2.11 it's 2.12 or 8 now so you can see the reason why even the, the text that we type directly cannot be modified dynamically when the page is run but uh, this one can be modified directly when the page is run another use of a label uh, is the fact that label for example, if I have this label and I set the text to um, come on label one, set the text to name, and um, if I drag a text box to it, there is there is a special um, property of a label known as. Um, uh, I'll show you in a sec associate control ID you can associate a control to the label so if I associate uh, text box 1 actually to demonstrate one the use of this for example if I had another label this is label 2 now I set that to uh, address and I drag another text box in front of it this is text box 2 now if I associate label 1 to text box 2 so to demonstrate what I'm trying to do I will associate label 1 to text box 2 so what happened now is this is now a lot of benefit but uh, it is an accessibility feature which means <laughs> sorry I forgot to um, remove the page load which is setting the text for label 1 at runtime to the date and time we already done with that I don't need that anymore so uh, let me show you what I'm trying to achieve you can set focus can you see that there's no mouse movement inside this area but if I double click on the name can you see I set a focus here so it's an accessibility feature because I did not set the associate 
uh, ID here it doesn't matter how many times I double click this one nothing will happen but if I double click on this label you can see that it's clickable this label is clickable as soon as I click on it it set the focus on here so as you can see that this is um, uh, and also when you session set an associate ID it actually helps the screen reader you know people with uh, disability or yeah people that use accessibility tools the screen reader actually reads to them that uh, this label has the name functionality on it you know and that the text written on this label is name so they know that is name they can input name in the text box um, another control that you can use to display uh, actually let me show you how uh, label renders itself if you go to the source view you can see that label will be rendered in a span tag can you see that but if you change if you associate a control ID to it it changes back to label do you understand because associated um, a text box to it this is why the screen reader can read this one but they won't be able to read this one because it's inside the span tag uh, another control that you can use is the literal tag the literal tag doesn't do anything other than to display text just display text onto the page let's uh, add a literal tag which is that one so that's a literal uh, is that what is that the way to pronounce it literal and you can just set um, the text the property of the literal is very small uh, the text enable view state the mode this mode um, allows you to determine when the text is transformed or encoded for example if you want to use display HTML in your page you want to display an HTML uh, text in your page without changing the HTML to be processed by the, um, uh, the the parser of the browser so that you can just display the HTML as it is onto your web page you can use this transform you can enable if it's visible or not so the text on the literal is this is a text on the literal control it's a very simple um, control all it does is just display and, and you can also modify the text displayed here at control time as well for example let's say if we had this literal control into the uh, anyway never mind so you can set the let's let's do the literal one dot text text because um date time uh, now dot to string uh, you can modify that one as well at runtime. time as you can see the literal as well does the same thing so that's the way you use the literal and the label control so if you have any question drop me a comment on my blog and um, I'll explain more about what I'm doing thank you